What's going on guys? Today's video, I'm gonna be testing out and showing you guys these LED bulbs from Sylvania that work on these quad headlights on these Ram trucks. So I wanted to make sure that these worked well for you guys. So I went ahead and I tested them out for the last few weeks and they've been working. So I tested out a bunch of different LED bulbs for the front marker lights, the running lights on this thing. And a lot of them didn't seem to work, kept throwing bulb out indications. So I wanted to go with more of a name brand one and I picked up these, you can see they're empty of the package because I have them installed and I wanted to make sure they work before I made this video. So let's jump straight into it. All right, so I know a lot of guys wanted to see some lighting upgrades for the quad headlights. So in the corner here, we've got the 3157A. So A stands for amber, so you can see here. You can also, you know, I don't suggest this, it's not legal, but you can put, you know, the different color ones in there so you can get the white ones or whatever you want to do. Um, they're going to function the same way, but again, I would suggest doing the amber. Me personally, I, I honestly prefer the amber look bulbs. Um, but one of the things that I do like about this, I'll just say quickly, is I prefer the way the LEDs come on and turn off. If you notice on a typical halogen bulb, it'll actually glow on and like kind of like this soft fade on and off, whereas the LED it pulses, it comes on and it shuts off and the light disappears immediately. So I like the look better. They're plug and play, they you know work and everything like that. Um, you will have to use Alpha OBD to enable LED bulbs for this, which I'll show you guys that process. Or if you guys want, you'll probably end up having to put an inline resistor um, to keep it from hyper flashing and giving the indication. But I wanna show you guys that they at least fit and how they work. So there's how they look. You can see they're amber. So that's what I was saying about how they actually look. I do like the fact that they come on and go off immediately instead of like that glowing look. So that's what it's like with no running lights turned on. So there's the appearance, you guys, from the front, what she'll look like. Let me show you guys with the running lights on. So here's the look with the running lights on and your flashers on, as you can kind of see here. Definitely looks good. And last but not least, here's what it looks like with the running lights. So you can see there, got that nice amber look in the corner. And there we go. So as far as replacing these, you can actually do it without taking out the headlights, which is a bonus. Uh, I know that's one complaint a lot of guys have. So there's gonna be a push pin here. So use a pry tool or you can use a flat and you're gonna take out the center of this so you can open this access door. So having a tool like this is definitely helpful. I'll link these if you guys wanna grab a set because these push pins that are pretty much on everything end up being a breeze. So there it is, center is pulled out with that. And then you open this door, you can reach in and you're gonna feel for the bulb. So you guys can see there, you're gonna turn it counterclockwise, about a quarter of a turn, and then you can pull the whole assembly out right here. So that's it, you just plug in the bulb. If they don't work, you guys, flip it 180 degrees because they are polarity sensitive. So just take it out, turn it 180 degrees, plug it back in. And like I said, the plug and play, you can go ahead, reach up in here, and it is a bit of finagling, but you can get them in like I'm showing you here. Put it back in, turn it back clockwise, and they're locked in, and that's it. All right, so here's what we're going to need to get the job done. You're going to need your OBD Link MX Plus. You're going to need a tablet and Alpha OBD app installed on your tablet or your Android device. It doesn't work on iPhone just yet, apparently, and I'll show you guys what to do in here. So we're going to take this, and we're going to plug it in under the dash. Then you're going to take your key, or if you've got a push button, put it in. Turn it to the run, but don't start it. And then we can go out to our tablet and show you guys what we gotta do. So next up, we're gonna click on Alpha OBD. I'm gonna wait for this to open up. We're gonna select the body style. So in this case, we're gonna go 1500. Then we're gonna go to body computer, select unit, then you put in your year. It's gonna have all the different year ranges. And then we're gonna hit connect. So once you see that it says it's connected, go down to the bottom here and you're gonna see this little car with its hood popped open. Click that. You're gonna go over here, select procedure to start. If I'm going too fast, I'm just go ahead and rewind the video or slow the speed down. I just wanna keep this concise. Car configuration change. And then you're gonna to go to select options. Easiest thing is just to use the search bar up at the top. So you see the search bar, we're gonna type in LED and we're gonna hit search. So you're gonna see all the different LED stuff that we can enable or disable. So reverse lamps, stop lamps, rear turn lamps. You're gonna see LED front turn lamps present. So obviously that's the one we wanna do. So we're gonna click on it. We're gonna click select value. 
and we're gonna say yes, because we were telling it that it has LED turn lamps in it. And you can see here that I've already have it set to yes. So it tells you what the status is before you change it. So it's saying, you know, no change is necessary. If this was no, then we would select yes and we'd hit start and it's gonna change it. So all you do is hit start and it'll change the setting. And that's pretty much it, you guys. So you just change that setting. Uh, you might have to cycle the key for the setting to take effect. You can always go back in and the same way I showed you, go through those steps and you can check to see that the setting is now yes instead of no. And then that's it. I've been driving around error free. The other option is you can go ahead and put some resistors on there so that you don't have that issue. So essentially the LED bulbs are drawing less current. So if you add um, a load resistor on there, it ends up soaking up a bit more power and then you don't have the air out. So you can do it without any wiring mess if you do it with the Alpha OBD. Like I said, I'll link all that stuff down below where you guys can go and check it out and get Alpha OBD if you wanna do it that way. Or I'll link the resistors that you can put in and you can just wire them in, in line if you wanna do it that way. But Either way, I think it's a better look. Comment down below if you guys wanna see any other mods to these quad headlights. We've got a ton of stuff on the way. I'm gonna be doing projector headlights, so I'm gonna show you guys how to convert your standard headlights to projector headlights, OEM ones. And then I also have these ones from VLAN. So we're gonna be doing a bunch of headlight mods. So make sure you're subscribed to this channel and also the main channel, because I'm posting on both some of the smaller videos I'm posting here, and the main channel is getting like the bigger stuff, like these headlights and stuff like that. Thanks for watching. If you guys found this helpful or informative, make sure you give it a thumbs up. I'll link those bulbs and everything down below. Subscribe. We'll see you guys on the next video.